Tonight, our Getting Results crime segment continues. We're looking at the high number of hit and runs recently. Seems like we talk about them every single day and what troopers are doing about it, too. News 6's Eric Von Aiken is here asking the tough questions. And Eric, we've got a lot going on here with this issue. Yeah, here's a number I think that will surprise both of you. FHP tells me they get on average 25 hit and runs every single day. That's just oh in one God. day. Wow. One day. Most of them are minor. But lately, several people have been killed. Last weekend, twice in one day, drivers hit people on bikes, dragged them, and still kept going. So how do we stop this? How are troopers getting crime results? This is FHP's hit and run graveyard. Every car involved in a fatality ends up here in the impound lot. And this is FHP's special investigator, one of two dedicated entirely to solving the most serious crashes, many of them hit and runs. Sergeant Josh Boudet gets the cases that other troopers don't have time for or can't get anywhere with. These here are, are just cases from within the last year to year and a half in Orange, Osceola, and Lake Counties that we, uh, we investigate. And this is just a fraction of the cases that we have here. FHP's Troop D, the busiest in the state, took him and another trooper off the road to attack these stacks of paperwork and hunt down lingering leads. As you can see, there's a vehicle repair list here uh, that was taken from a dealership. This is a receipt for alcohol from uh, where this person was at immediately before the crash happened. If you leave the scene of a crash, we find your vehicle, you're going to leave something behind. I'm going to find it. Sometimes 12 hours a day, Sergeant Boudet is visiting bars, box stores, gas stations, and junkyards. This came from a, a hit and run crash scene. And this was one of the few pieces that was left? Yes, sir, it was. So you have to take this and find out what car it belongs to? Yes, sir, we do. How? Lots and lots of man hours. My investigators going to each dealership that we have here for all the different makes and model vehicles. Because ultimately, he'll have to prove in court with records, video, witnesses, even DNA, that the driver who left the scene was the one behind the wheel. You may get away for a week, maybe two weeks or a month, but I'm going to find you and we're going to arrest you. And Sergeant Boudet is getting crime results. So far this year, he tells me that he has made 15 arrests. And if that doesn't sound like much, think those are the toughest cases on top of the other ones that other investigators are solving. And remember this, it's always in your best interest to stay at the scene. It's humane, of course. But especially if it's not your fault, even if you are drunk, because you will get four years in prison, guys, minimum, mandatory, even... If it is not your fault. Yeah. Well, Just for leaving the scene. Just yeah. for leaving the scene. Mm -hmm. Well, you he was nothing very serious. It. Yeah. Okay, so. That's not a guy you want to mess with. No, no you don't. Sure. <laughs> all right. So we were all excited when you introduced this segment last week, and you said that it would empower us all to get crime right. results. What can we do about this one? You know, with more and more of these happening, sooner or later, the chances that they'll happen to you increase. We yep. will likely be involved in this. If it does happen, you want to be ready. Get a license plate. Look at that car color. Try and take a look at the driver if you can. Take a picture because, of yeah. course, eyewitnesses make the best witnesses in court. I also yeah. put a link on FHP's website or on our website to FHP, by the way, that breaks down all the penalties if you want to know what they 25 are. 25 a day. It sounds like it's That's likely crazy. it could happen to all us. Right. All yeah. right. Thank, Thank you, Eric. Eric. We appreciate it. Sure. Interesting stuff.